to Atticus at Rome, Thessalonica, 5th August, 58 BC, by Cicero. As to my having written you word that I meant to go to Everus, I changed my plan when I saw that my house was vanishing and fading away, and did not remove from Thessalonica. I resolved to remain there until I heard from you on the subject mentioned in your last letter, namely, that there was going to be some motion made in the Senate on my case immediately after the elections, and that Pompey had told you so. Wherefore, as the elections are over and I have no letter from you, I shall consider it as though you have written to say that nothing has come of it, I shall not feel annoyed at having been buoyant up by a hope which did not keep me long in suspense. But the movement which you said in your letter that you foresaw is likely to be to my advantage. People arriving here tell me when it occur. My sole remaining hope is to the tribunes designate. If I wait to see how it turns out, you will have no reason to think of me as having been waiting to my own course or the wishes of my friends. As you are constantly finding fault with me for being so overwhelmed by my misfortune, you ought to pardon me when you see that I have sustained a more crushing blow than anyone you have ever seen or heard of. As to your saying that you are told that my intellect is even affected by grief, that is not so, and link is quite sound. Or that it had been as much so in the hour of danger, when I found those to whom I thought my safety was the dearest object of her life most bitterly and unfeelingly hostile. Who, when they saw that I had somewhat lost my balance from fear, left nothing undone which malice and treachery could suggest in giving me the final push to my utter ruin. And as I must go to Cisneus, where I shall get letters more rarely, I beg you to write me a word all the more carefully of everything you may think I ought to know. Be sure you are affectionate to my brother Quindus. For all my misery I still leave from the rights undiminished, I shall not consider myself utterly ruined.